Up ahead on the right side of the river here, we can see this white building with the clock tower out there. That is the Wrigley Building. And if that name sounds familiar, that's because it's the same Wrigley as Wrigley Field and Wrigley Chewing Gum. The Wrigley Building was opened in 1924 and was designed in a style called Spanish Revival. We'll actually see a few revival styles of architecture over the course of the tour, and that's because there was a period of time in American history when we didn't really have an architectural voice of our own, and so we often looked to Europe and to the past for inspiration. In fact, the clock tower there of the Wrigley Building is modeled after the bell tower of the Seville Cathedral in Spain. The Wrigley Building is also clad in 250,000 glazed terracotta tiles. They are decorative. They actually have a slight gradient which draws the eye upward. They provide a degree of fireproofing and they are incredibly delicate. So the Wrigley Building has to be washed by hand, which happens annually. The next building I want to tell you about is very easy to identify because it's helpfully wearing a name tag. Also on the right side of the river here is the Trump International Hotel and Tower. This is the second tallest building in Chicago, and it is an excellent example of contextualism. So contextualist architecture is very much site